Hello, my name is Sean White, President and CEO of Whiteboard Marketing. Today I want to talk to you and help you understand the digital journey of today's patient, what they go through to find and decide to make that call to your practice or fill out that web form or chat with somebody online. You know, I'm going to talk to you a little bit about a story. Um, so my family and I, we moved from one suburb to another and health and hygiene are really important to us. Um, so one of the first things that we wanted to do when we moved to a different area was to find our new dentist. So it was one night, our family of three kids, we cooked dinner, spent about an hour cooking dinner, um, told the kids the dinner was ready. We spent about four or five minutes actually eating the dinner and then spent another hour cleaning it up while they just somehow disappeared, right? So this is about 7, 7.30 at night. And we, at that point, wanted to start binge watching um, our show, which is currently Yellowstone. You're probably watching that too. But that's just not enough stimulation for people these days, right? So there's one device that you constantly have with you, right? And it's your phone. So not only are we watching Yellowstone, but that's the time I decided I wanted to start looking for a new dentist. So I pulled out my phone as I was watching and I just pulled up Google and I typed in dentist near me, right? So up popped ABC Dental. I saw them at the very top of the page. They were in the Google ad section. So it kind of registered an impression with me. Scroll down a little bit more, I saw them again in the map section, right? So a second impression. And then I scrolled down a little bit more and where they have kind of the SEO area and I saw them again. So ABC Dental really earned my click at that point. So I decided to click on ABC Dental and up popped their website very, very fast. Loaded on my um, phone, it was, you know, the, the, uh, it was mobile, mobile optimized, it looked really good, loaded fast. And I kind of found what I was looking for right away. So one of the first things that I look for along with you and almost 100% of consumers these days are their reviews. They made it easy for me to find. I clicked on their reviews. I went to their page about the reviews. I saw there was some from Google. I saw there was some from Facebook, from HealthGrades, right on their website. And I really felt that their, their patients really enjoyed them, right? They're, and I saw that they were responding to their patients, really kind of keeping up conversation. You know, those, those patients spent time um, leaving the, 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 the doctor and the, the practice review. So they spent time on thanking them for that. So that really kind of checked the box there on, uh, on, the, on the reviews, because that's something that we're looking at all the time. Um, the other thing too is, I, you know, I had some questions. It was 7.30 at night or so. Obviously the office was closed, but I noticed there was a live chat box there. It wasn't a robot, it wasn't a chat bot. It was actually a live person. The window popped up, asked me if I had any questions, and I actually did. I had some questions, they were able to answer it right there, and at the end of that chat, they asked me, would you like to schedule an appointment? Would you like to schedule an appointment with us right now? I was like, you know what, they've earned it. So I looked, pulled up my Google Calendar, and I, I found an opening spot. They sent me a link right on the chat box. It took me to a hygiene appointment a request. I, I found a time that matched, and I scheduled an appointment right online. It was great. So the next day, of course, I got a text message from them. I got a phone call confirming the appointment, um, got all that wrapped up. So I was really feeling good about my experience so far. So I got there to the office and it was great. It was greeted, it didn't wait very long. I had already filled out my forms online. It wasn't a, a PDF or even a fillable PDF. It was just a entry form that went right into their patient management system. So that was really good as well. So I had a great experience. I was greeted, got in the chair, had some relationship rapport going, had a super experience. On my way out, um, as I was checking out, I was able to pay my bill online right there. And I also um, was asked to them, I said, hey, um, Sean, in a couple hours, you're gonna receive a request for a review. We're gonna text message you. Would you mind leaving us a review about your experience today? So they looked me in the eye, I looked them in the eye, I made a commitment that I would leave them a review. So sure enough, a couple hours later, I got a review request on my phone and I clicked on it. I left them a review on Google and uh, you know, kind of committed to them. I got that done, which was nice. The other thing too is um, a little bit later, I went to my social media. I saw that little red notification um, button on Facebook. 
it was basically a request to follow ABC Dental, which was nice because they, I could tell they were building their community, right? So they, I got a re, uh, review, I gave them a review, they asked me when I gave them one, and then they asked me to follow them on social media. My experience was very positive, so they're building up momentum on that as well. And as I mentioned, I, I paid uh, my, my bill online as well. So, um, kind of recapping that, guys, right, is, they appeared in the search results, right? So they worked towards having some real estate and some ownership on that first page of Google, right? They were at the top, they were in the map area, and they were in the SEO section. So that was one of the first things, right? When I clicked on them, their website loaded really quickly. We have an impatient society right now, including myself. If there is a delay and a buffer, you just don't wanna, don't wanna wait for that. You hit the back button instead. But their website loaded very quickly. The reviews were prominent, right? Recapping again, I was looking for reviews as most people do, and it was very prominent for me to look, so I checked that box off as well in my decision-making process, as most people do. There was an actual live person to talk to after hours, right, to get my questions answered. So I didn't start looking for somebody else. They were able to convert me on my short time on their website. So they had a live chat person, not a robot, but a chat um, chat person that was able to answer my questions. And then I was able to schedule an appointment online. I know that's very difficult to kind of understand. It's a very positive disruption out of practice, however. And, but however, they were able to open up a slot right online at 7.30, 8 o'clock at night. I was able to get in that way, which was great for us. Um, at that point, I received new patient communications, right? I was a confirmation, a text, um, the communication to uh, leave them a review, leave us, uh, for, for me to leave them a review. Um, so they're really on top of their game. And of course, the social media follow um, request as well. So all those things aren't easy to get to, but that kind of journey, why is that important to your practice? Think about that, okay? Why is that journey that I just talked to you about important to your practice? And the answer really is, is we expect that kind of experience every time, right? We want things to load quick. We want to be able to get things done quickly. We're very high paced. We're ready to get things done and convert. And that particular dental practice was set up to, to feed into my needs, right? There were social media, website, reviews, everything was connected on the first um, page of Google. It was all there. So if we experience anything less in that, in that journey, what happens is we hit the back button and we find someone else or find another practice that's gonna meet the needs that we have today. So the question for you is, are you creating this new digital patient experience that will attract and retain the kind of patients that you want? I'm Sean White with Whiteboard Marketing. That's my practice inspiration.